we have a battle on our hands is the first battle for the Total War Community League. Kassam187 is home. He's picked Rome 2 and he's live streaming on twitch.tv on his Twitch account. And he says that the faction bans are Rome Carthage and the Seleucids. So I can't play as Rome Carthage. And there's no artillery at all. Shit. <laughs> Shit, he's pitting me up against the wall right now. So we can't play um, Rome Carthage. Oh shit, what have I done? Go off that. Can't play as Rome Carthage. How do I? Where the fuck are you on here, Kasam? I think the two like that. So that's my setup. I'm going to save it as stream. I see me. And like I said, I haven't played this game for five months. This is my very first battle after five months of absence. Let's start the battle. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it for Wales. Let's do it for all the Dragonites out there. Let's win this battle. You click the start button. And we're going to do this. We're going to play our first league game of the season. Kassam187 at home on Rome 2 against Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, who is playing away in his first game. And hello, Alan Knight, how are you? Just saw you in the chat there. Hello. And hello to anybody else that's watching on stream right now. Welcome. This is our first league game. The Battle of Iska. I seen he against uh what 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 um factions he picked I, they all look the same to me so i don't know which one he's actually picked this is going to be a bit of a shit now this is i don't know i don't know if i like this landscape he's home so he's picked probably a decent landscape oh i dread this i'm gonna dread this okay shit they've loaded in right this could work to my advantage i think this could be used very well it's a nice slope down there He's going to anticipate me in the trees. I don't like to hide in the trees. I like to fight in the open. So I'm going to get all my uh, charioteers and group them. Not a lock group, though. Shit. Just get a nice little bendy group like that. Keep them close quartered. I'm going to put the skirm skirmishers in the centre, like so. Oh my god. What am I doing? Cav on the right flank, hidden. That could be used very well. And they are hidden. That's going to be useful. That's going to be very useful. The Warhounds can be used in the centre to uh, irritate him. And then all the infantry, which is going to be my big line, is actually going to be right at the front. Let's get that out of locked formation and into a proper group that we can stick at the front. And that's what I'm going to go with for this first battle of the season against Kassam187. Cavalry on the right flank, hidden in the tree line. Chariots on the left flank ready to do some enveloping and crashing into him downhill. And then I have my main line at the front. All of them have some sort of experience, bronze, golds and silvers. With some missile troops, some slingers in the centre with some, well, a unit of warhound at the back. And we're just going to say I'm ready, good luck, have fun. Let's jump into this, guys. Let's fucking do it. Start battle. We are starting. And to you, mate. Awesome. Ah, the sneaky bastard. He's on the hill. Right. First things first. Up the hill we go. My main line is going to be used to go forward. I hate the fact he's got a hill. The bastard's picked a good hill. He's picked a good hill. To work with, and they are spear warriors. He's going to be used. They're going to be useful. Let's minimize that. Minimize these stupid screens. There we go. Now we can see things much clearly, much more clearly. Now he's got to come to me. My chariot's going to go to the left-hand flank. If he allows me to outflank him, then he's going to be in a pickle. My infantry can actually stop where it is. Just walk them. I don't see any need to move out with these dogs and stuff. Actually, the dogs could be used to harass him. I'm going to just bring them to between the cavalry is hidden. Now, he's obviously going to be behind the hill. And it looks like I've drawn him down the hill. He has some noble horses. They're going to come towards the chariots, which is good. I don't mind this. don't mind this at all. I'm going to actually move up to there. My dogs are going to go further up 
the cavalry are going to keep them hidden. As a matter of fact, let's go. We don't know what he got this side, do we? Until I know what he got this side. Oh, what do we have? Just saw something. He has got stuff here, so I can't exactly full on attack him at the moment. I can't attack him at the moment. I'm waiting for the right opportunity. He's allowing me to skirt my troops. I'm just going to keep pushing him backwards, I think, for now. If I can win this away game, this is going to be a big, big victory for me in this league so far. Enemy has hidden units, we assume that. Noble horses, right. Go for the charge. Dogs. Harass. We knew they had stuff here. And the skirmishers charge out there. Walk into position. Which one of these is the general unit? He has spears. Does he have any missile capabilities? He has some. I say we attack. Oh, I can't see the general. Where's the general? We're going to attack the spears with our skirmish and capability. Our warhounds have been used and my cavalry is charging in right now. This is good. Didn't expect that, did he? Right. I'm getting quite competitive now. I go shut up. Right. Less form. Let's go forward a bit more. Let's scare him. Let's scaremonger him. We've got him on one flank and we've got him facing up against the main line while I harass with the rest of my men. Cavalry swarming, charging. All of them can go for this cav unit and decimate this cav unit. It's a golden, golden chevron C, so it's going to be quite hard to take out. We've taken him out though slowly, which is good. Meanwhile, we're going to harass his spear warriors that he's left on the flank. He may actually charge my noble horse. In some ways, I'm hoping he does. I can switch to melee. We're going to switch to melee and we're going to crash into your noble horse. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Get away, uh, advisor, you stupid prick. Oh, fucking hell. Advisor, piss off. Suppress advice. Do my head in now. Stupid advisor. Stupid, stupid advisor. Okay, they have lots of men up the this flank. Let's get the cavalry back. These units can be used to charge. I got nothing up here. Oh, there's the general up there as well. Okay, this is kind of annoying. He's got len uh, men up there. Let's be a bit more aggressive in that case and push forward. My chariots aren't doing particularly well. I haven't played this game in a while and it's showing. I'm really slow to react to things. Okay, let's just uh, charge in with the cav in that case. Got lots of cav. I can't believe how much cav he has. I'm going to pick off the general with this one unit over here. I'm actually the main line. Uh, let's just charge forward with the main line. Spread it out a bit, a bit more. Attack the general. I'm going to lose this shit. Shit, 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 shit. This is bad, my friends. This is very bad. I've just... I had like, the advantage for a moment. I've just kind of given it up. Very, very pathetically. Right, we have to charge. Headhunt, please. Charge with a headhunt. Charge with a headhunt. You two break off. Go down there. You can charge up there. Okay, this is... Again, he's actually split up my line, which is the worst part. Oh my god, his general's going to get in as well. Kill the general, that would be useful if we could. Britannia! For Britannia! Charge! Holy shit. Get those shields up, please, boys. Get those defense stats going. Headhunt with defensive capabilities, please. We've actually lost that right flank. <laughs> Just looked over. I was like, where are my men gone? Oh my god. We're going to lose our first game of the season. We're holding on this flank. Because Sam is winning very well. To be fair, he's doing a good job. He did a good job. He, he hid around this. This is what the home advantage, you know, it, it, it's what it gives you. He had that lovely hill to work with there with the branches. And he's able to just kind of sit around there, wait for me to come to him, and then just pounce on me and split up my forces in two. He split me right open, and it's not very enjoyable. <laughs> he's done a very good job here. I am getting completely and utterly decimated. It's not good. 
This not good, my friends. This not good. Dragonheart don't like this. We are holding just about. Where is it? I haven't even taken anyone out of the. Ge oh, I've taken four men out of his general's unit. If I could have taken a few more of them out, then maybe, just maybe, we could have done a bit better. But it's just a, the waiting game now, I think. We are fighting against lots of men, but there. He's got me on all his flanks. He's going to take me out eventually. Most of my men are gone. Unfortunately. Oh, look at that. Crash from behind. He rammed me in the rear. Men are routing left, right, and centre. I've lost, lost this battle very easily, actually. He's probably decimated most of my men. Look at the morale buffs are going now. And unfortunately, it is going to be a defeat in this first league game. It's what home advantage can do. It's, it's uh, how well you use it. He used it very well, like I said. That was a very good masterclass of multiplayer there, where he used the hill and the tree line. He goaded me in. He made me think that I could go up this pathway. I had weakened men against him. I had slingers and war dogs, which he was able to just take out easily and flank around around that uh, rock but there. And I was left out in the open then um, on, and being flanked. So good good win for Kassam 187 and a first win of the season for him in this Total War Community League. So we're just going to wait now until we get the results screen so we can see the damage. I'm going to save the replay as well and just call it um, Fixture 1 versus Kassam. Just save that replay there, end the battle, and we can get the decisive defeat. So there we go, I deployed 1,500, lost over 1,000. As you can see, he deployed 1,890 and lost only 471. So he deployed more men and lost fewer. So congratulations to Kassam187, you have your victory in this league game.